Hello everybody, and welcome to a Star Wars Ubisoft production presented by Capcom with me, OXFU, commentating for today, May the 4th be with you, Star Wars. And this is the Star Wars game for the Game Boy, which is actually the first, one of probably one of the first Star Wars games that I owned, because I didn't have an NES as a kid, and we didn't have the Super Star Wars games for the SNES. And it wasn't until I went to live with my aunt and uncle for a year that I played stuff like Shadows of the Empire or Dark Forces. My dad didn't like those games, so what can I say? And then, after that, it wasn't until Knights of the Old Republic that I that I played Star Wars games again. And you'd think, I'm a huge Star Wars nerd, so you'd think that I'd be playing Star Wars games all over the place. Although there was Jedi Power Battles for the Game Boy Advance that I also played. But anyway, let's get right into this. This is the, one of the most BS games ever. It's not as bad as the original Star Wars NES games, but it's pretty tough. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna see just how far... This sounds like Donkey Kong Country music right now. <laughs> we're gonna see, I'm just, I'm gonna see just how far I can get. You get three lives and you get nine continues, so that's a total of 27 lives. And what I'm gonna be doing for today, May the 4th, is I'm gonna be doing a marathon. I'm basically going to see how far I can get. I'm going to split up these videos, and hopefully you guys will enjoy it. So this first cave, we actually we do have to go through. There's no way around it. Uh, and it gives you a powered up blaster, so I believe... Nope, wrong button. Let's select. You want to go in here, and you want to select that and it should be powered up. I don't really know how it works, but I know it works. Now, before we go anywhere else, I already know exactly where we need to go in order to progress with the story, which you need to rescue R2-D2, but before you do that, uh, you want to find Ben Kenobi, and he's lurking in one of these caves. I don't remember which one it is. I know it's a wide cave, a cave with a wide mouth. Uh, it may be this one. I know this one has falling rocks, which are a bitch. Because they take off almost all of your health, health if they hit you, and they're just a bitch to dodge. So, we need, uh, yeah, see, look at, look at, look at. That's ridiculous. And health picks up, pickups are really few and far between in this game, so it becomes even more ridiculous. I'm playing this on my computer, if you couldn't just hear the key. My finger slipping off the key right there, so. Oh man. Really becomes, uh. It really becomes an exercise in frustration after a while. Especially because every time you die, you go back to the beginning of this level. There are no checkpoints in Star Wars. Well, the only checkpoints you have are the levels you're at. Alright, this we do have to jump over. Oh shoot, the bees! Forgot about those guys. No! No, 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 no! That was one of the health pickups, pickups, actually. So that's one of our 27 lives gone already. Yeah. <laughs> ah. I'm probably not going to do very well. This, this is probably going to be over pretty quickly. I don't believe there's a password save system or anything in this, so... Once we hit those 27 lives, it's back to the beginning. Crap. Keep forgetting about that last boulder and have to, how I have to jump over it. I don't think I've ever beaten this game as when I was a kid. I think I got as far as the, the beast that is in the trash compactor. Because this does pretty much... It, it kind of follows the story. I mean, you gotta find... You gotta find Ben Kenobi, you gotta find R2-D2, you gotta find Han Solo at the cantina and stuff like that. It it follows the story. It's just a bitch game. And you you guys will be seeing just how bitch this game is in just a little while. Okay, health. 
needed. Thank you very much. This is probably one of... Okay. Gonna make a jump of blind faith. Oh, crap. I forgot about you. This is a Tomb Raider. Or not a Tomb Raider. A uh, sand person. Basically, what we're gonna be doing here is just standing there and shooting at him. And guess what? He's not the last. What I don't like about this is just the leaps of blind faith that you have to make. Barely saw that platform, but, like, where do we go now? Um, well, that's the best ge guess I have. But I believe we actually have to go this way to get to Ben Kenobi. Oh, crap. See, there's no way to get, get around that. That's two of our lives gone. And the only way to tell where a platform is, is by trial and error. There's really no way to see where half of them are. And when I was a kid, I, I got pretty good at this, because I just play this game for a, a long time. Because I really, really, really like Star Wars as a kid. Like, I'm, I'm not as big a fan as I, as I was... I'm not as big a fan today as I was back in the day. But back in the day... Let's just say I was a huge fanboy. <laughs> it's, it's with any fandom with me, though. It tones down after a while, like... Oh gosh, I'm trying to think of what else I'm a fan of. Like, you guys know that I'm a fan of My Little Pony. You guys know that I'm a fan of Star Wars. I'm a sl Oh! Oh! I'm a slight fan of Star Trek. First, continue. <laughs> I'm a slight fan of Star Trek. I... Well, I, I, I'm a definite fan. But I'm not as big a fan as, say, OX Girlfu is. Um, we both got it from our parents. Uh... Me from growing up with Star Trek Next Generation, same with her, but, like, I'm not really into the original series. She's really into the original series. She has cosplayed as Star Trek characters before, even though I wouldn't really technically call that cosplaying, but whatever. I don't know, it's just different tastes. But other than that, like, there's things I like, of course, but I don't think I'm a really a huge fan of any other series, except for those two. And again, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to give the... give the, them as... examples of me toning down my fan... boyishness. Because <laughs> again, I, when, I, when I really like something, I really like something. And it takes a while... I, I don't really try to push it on anybody. I, at least I hope I don't. Uh, jump this way. Okay, there we go. Yeah, if you go just to the edge, you can sometimes make out where you're supposed to go next. Oh, son of a bitch. Maybe we're not supposed to go that way, because that was a wall right there. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. You know what? If we have to come back, I'd rather come back than die because I was stupid. Come here, Sandman. Der Sandman. You won't take my eyes today. <laughs> oh, man. I've got a... Oh, no, we're not going that way. Each place will have an exit, like that. Some places will have multiple exits. Oh, shoot! Like this one does, because we've got the Sandman. That was the actual Tusken Raider. I don't know what the other guys were. Jeez, forgot about that. Uh, we have the Tusken Raiders, and then we have the other blokes that we have to take care of as well. And once we go to the left, we do run into Obi-Wan Kenobi, I believe. And you want the lightsaber, because, I mean, it's Star Wars. Everything revolves around the lightsaber. Go on, rocks. Alright. So what, we spent like... 10 minutes on this one level already? <laughs> Get ready for more, because this is like... Again, this is one of, only one of the first levels. And this game is a bitch. Okay... Doing very well. Cause, like, see, once you know where you're supposed to go, it's not a big deal. Hey. Oh, 
shoot. Doesn't matter, there's a health pickup soon anyway. Right down somewhere around here. <laughs> Trying to remember what those rocks remind me of, too. Hey, hey. All right, here we go. Health pickup. Perfect. Doing great this this one through. Bye. All right, now this guy becomes a bitch. Because what you have to do. Oh wait, maybe. I don't... Yeah, you can just shoot him from here. I was gonna say, now you have to, like, do a little jump thing where you have to just, like, hit him one time at a time. Fortunately, you can actually duck their attacks. Or avoid their attacks, not duck their attacks. Oh. I really hope that that's the end of the enemies. Because if I have to see one more motherfucker shooting needles at me, I'm gonna go... That shit insane. See, I don't like that either. Because now we have to actually, like, dodge him. Fortunately, our head doesn't count as a... as a place where we can get hurt, apparently. Oh, cool, we got him. Oh! No, these were just shield tokens. Which are absolutely useless. Because one, what, what happens is, after we get Han Solo... And the Millennium Falcon, we have to go through an asteroid field on our way to the to the Death Star. Because you know how Alderaan was destroyed? Well, and you know how uh, Han Solo is saying there shouldn't be an asteroid here? Well, that's the asteroid field that he's talking about. Or, that's the asteroid field I'm talking about. <laughs> um... And what the shield tokens do is it allows you to take more hits from asteroids. But, and if we get there, if we even... Oh shoot, I hate you guys. These things will just run into you and take down your health and then they'll shoot lasers at you. It's the most rotten trick in the world. Because you can't hurt them. You can't hurt any of these things. You can only avoid them. So if you take it. If you have one of those guys that are just bumping into you, you can't do anything. You just gotta take the damage and hope that you can get away. Like, look at that. Look at that. I almost died. Um, I'm trying to remember if this is even the right place where we're supposed to find Ben Kenobi up here. Because I know it was either at the bottom of the map or at the top of the map. And I know it's like a really wide cave of some sort. Okay, actually, I think it's over here. Yeah, I think it is, because I remember... Whoa, I remember that same pattern of... Dubacks. From a ki from being a kid. That might be it, that might be it. That cave right over there. Because I remember there was a method to my madness. A method of going up to the top of the map and going around that way in order to find the cave where Ben Kenobi is. I think this is it. Of course, we're almost dead again, but whatever. I can believe this yeah the moles or what are these womp rats that's what they're that's what they're actually called um even though womp rats are supposed to be like a meter long oh look we died womp rats are supposed to be a meter long so these guys aren't really womp rats but whatever they only take one hit that's all that i care about so just stand next to them and just keep blasting until they jump out and goodbye <laughs> oh man it's leaps of blind faith like this. They, they're horrible. Like, if, at least if the, the screen panned a little, it wouldn't be so bad, but no. And there's actually secrets around in some places that you can't find unless you take an absolute leap of faith. And I think there's like one or two that I know of, but I'm probably not going to remember them, not for this. Because, again, this was like more than 10 years ago that I played this. <laughs> Cuz this was this is this is an original Game Boy game and this is when this is one of the first games that I had as a child for my Game Boy Color. Yeah, see that was another shield that was completely completely useless. 
เอ้ย